What on the YouTube, true crime, tough sight, step inside. Doing a little, uh, what's going on here in the month of April. Make sure I'm recording. So I went up this morning to get my morning coffee. Seen this. <laughs> what the hell is this? Mid-April, spring, this. Now, about five years ago, say five years ago, even four or five years ago, I was uh, standing on a food bank uh, waiting to get some uh, food. It was November. Uh, it had been around like... Um, 2015, 2016, I want to say, whatever four or five years ago is, but anyways, I remember two guys, older gentlemen, talking, and one had said that the earth had shifted, and uh, I'm thinking to myself, ooh, I want to keep that in my head. Ensuring it's a JT. I believe what you see here, the month of April, is why snow is occurring. But because last April, last year, there was snow out there too. It wasn't snowing, I don't think, but it was still. Um, Lingering. A little interruption. <laughs> Story of my life. But anyways, the snow was still lingering last April. There was something, and I believe this occurred right after because I want to say April 15th, 2015. It had to have been 2015 I heard that. And it was November of 2014 that I heard. Then it was, yeah, 2014, so. So it was six, seven years ago. Somewhere in that line anyways, but. Earth shifting. Snow accumulating during the spring. Leads me to this. And I'm going to be using this video for a couple of things. One is for this issue. The other one is for <clears throat> an article I read in the Sentinel and Enterprise newspaper of why John Fitch Highway used to flood. I never knew this, and it has finally been um, exposed. But anyways, the only reason why I show this so you can watch the video now. As I scroll through it, you'll be watching this video again in my next video. But, um, look at this. April. Slush. And mind you, this shit, when I got to this part of town, usually I drive a little bit around town, and, you know, drink the coffee, wake up. By the time I got home, the friggin' roads were full of snow. Very high accumulated, it didn't. Of course, I don't believe the weather, man, until I see it. So today I did get <laughs> my ass handed to me. But anyways, then again, it didn't accumulate to much. Maybe an inch, maybe an inch and a half, two inches from where they said seven. That they a little bit always exaggerate over. But, anyways, why I'm doing this video for this is because I want to know what this Al Gore thing and what he started back when he was vice president of global warming. So, you know what? I'm, I'm all about trying to save the environment. Recycle is right. But when you got the government telling you that the Alaska and North 
I'll call it, the North Pole, and the Arctic is defrosting, and it's because of global warming and the uh, environment and all this making it hot, bad weather, no rain. Um, you tell me. Ah, uh, give me a good explanation of why this global warming didn't happen or exist back, way back when the glaciers defrost and killed all the dinosaurs. There is a rock I was recorded, spoke of before in the middle of Fitchburg. Downtown, back in the, what, 1800s, came down from the north, mind you, the north, slid right into the town where it sits, and um, has sat there since they put it up and use it a display, and the display is from what? Glacier melting that came down from the north 1800s what was in back then killing the environment and causing global warming there was nothing at that time yeah factories were starting to be built and there was no way in chance in hell that that global warming had anything to do with that arctic meltdown to lead a big huge boulder from the north Come on down and take its spot there in the center of Fitchburg. Hey, man, this is where I'm going to stay because I'm from the north. And I'm always very skeptical when stuff like this is said, stuff like this is fed in the brains and the minds of the people. Don't get me wrong. It's good to see everybody recycling because the only thing I'm worried about is where you're going to put all that trash when the land has nowhere to bury it. I don't know why they're not doing what they do in Australia, let alone Toy, Toy Story 4, <laughs> where there's a burning <laughs> huge fire pit. Well, let, me, let me find out that Disney's trying to, you know... Um, I'm Dr. Phil here. Hi, I'm Dr. Phil. <laughs> and trying to let people know what is better for the environment. Burning the trash. Right. Doing the magnet thing with the metal. And saving land. Australia does it. Why ain't we doing it yet? Yet we still stick our trash out there in the New York Harbor on barges. <clears throat> I remember one picture I did catch, blast from the past, New York City, when they had a uh, shutdown and the trash was piled in the streets. You know, burning trash, I don't think, is going to ruin no environmental ozone layer or nothing. It's not the trash, it's not the pollution, it's not the friggin' global warming that's destroying the earth. The earth destroys itself. It's done it before, it's melt glaciers before, way before man, and way before machinery, buildings, gas, smog, smoke, whatever blows up in the air with dirty fumes, kills the environment. People don't think of this. People don't want to think of this. People have, and there was something on the radio I caught this morning too about people catching up with the media, some media, not all, some media that are... Literally right, taking advantage of the people and making up stories is right. Sorry, it's called fake news. And who knows how long this has been going on to be all publicized by big officials to make you think what? It's always a conspiracy with me. I don't let out too much information on stuff. Because I don't want no one coming after me, shutting me down, 
Because I know something. But it is rightfully in the history books and people are not looking at it. And this global warming crap and this melt age and this melting of the Arctic and all this stuff and snow in April. People got to start listening more to science. More to what the natural earth brings to us. And it's not the people killing it. Can't help the earth's atmosphere and how it works. You know what? You don't have to be a scientist. You just need to learn stuff by reading stuff and write. Or look at it this way. If something says the earth shift and we got snow in April a lot now lately, huh? It's only common sense. That's why I think I see this big chunk of snow sitting on my window. Mind you, I had to stop and... Because that... I wiped that off. But because the snow accumulated a lot, a little came off the roof, poof, my wiper stopped working because it was so heavy. So I was like, geez. I don't know if you find this educational and like to think more about what goes on on the earth. Well, it's only common sense, people. What makes us in the earth and what destroys it? If anything... Earth and space will destroy itself. Just like the comets and one uh, meteor hit the Earth again. Mind you, so it wiped out the dinosaurs. We're not killing our environment. Natural causes will kill us. Or the violence and chaos that's taking place in the world right now. Everybody needs to chill out, calm down. Everybody's in this together. Everybody's having their own... Mental breakdowns, especially me. Oh, man. You see the baldness here? Yeah, that's right. That's for mental distress. And you sit there and do this all day. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta come together, people. Come together. Right now. That's right. Go listen to some Beatles, some Aerosmith. Listen to the music that brought forth stories education and learning what it has done for me to learn something people calm down everybody else that i know is right you're right anybody else is in the chaos area watching this calm down i even had a breakdown now i have some unlawful characterism that i gotta fix hopefully i can fix it other than that we're here together, got these videos, learn something, and I'd make you watch snow again, but who the hell wants to watch that, because you're going to watch it in my next video, ha <laughs> ha, that next video, be safe, take care, always be good, whoop, whoop.